Dish owned Sling TV launched back in 2015, the first live TV streaming service, and the starting price only 20 bucks a month. These days, Sling TV's got a lot more competition, but there are some pretty good reasons to subscribe to Sling, and it all starts with number one. Sling TV can be cheaper. Sling TV's starting monthly price is about 30 bucks less than YouTube TV at the time of this recording. And here's why. YouTube TV's base plan has more than 100 networks, including all of your local broadcast TV stations. Meanwhile, Sling has two base plans to choose from, Sling Orange and Sling Blue. Sling Orange has got about 30 channels and Sling Blue has about 40, with some overlap between those plans. At recording time, they're 40 bucks a month each, or you can combine them and pay $55 a month. Number two today, you don't watch much live TV anymore. I'm hearing a lot more from people who cancel their cable TV subscription, but they don't want a big bundle of 100 plus channels to replace it. And that's where Sling TV's skinnier bundles may save you a little bit of money. Let's take a closer look at Sling Orange, for example. This plan includes ESPN, and it's likely to be the cheapest way to get that network until ESPN goes direct to consumer. Meanwhile, that Sling Blue plan, it's got news networks like CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC. So if you mostly stream TV with on-demand services like Netflix, and you only need live TV for, let's say, a handful of channels, one of Sling TV's base plans may have everything you need. I'll link below to Sling TV's service optimizer tool. It lets you enter your favorite channels and then will suggest the best bundle for your needs. So that may include Sling Orange, Sling Blue, and add-on channel packages. Now, if you've got a long list of must-have channels, Sling TV may not be cheaper than YouTube TV, once you combine orange and blue and then add some of the other various add-on channel packs that you see here. Number three, you have a way to get local stations. Sling TV does not provide all of your local stations. And really, that's the number one reason why it is cheaper than services like YouTube TV. Although YouTube TV doesn't have a local broadcast TV surcharge like cable companies, you are definitely paying for your local ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC stations as part of YouTube TV's base plan price. With Sling TV, Fox, NBC, and ABC are available in select markets only. Sling's local stations, they're limited to markets with owned and operated stations, and most local TV stations are not actually owned by the broadcast networks. The best workaround, of course, is to set up an antenna, but if you live in a city where Sling TV offers at least some of your locals, you may be okay supplementing with other streaming services, one example, Paramount Plus's premium plan includes your local CBS station, which you won't get with Sling TV. Number four, you don't need unlimited cloud DVR storage. Sling TV doesn't offer unlimited cloud DVR storage like YouTube TV and some of the other premium live TV services. The base plan includes only 50 hours of cloud DVR storage at recording time. For an extra five bucks a month, you can upgrade to 200 hours of cloud DVR storage and then you get the ability to protect your recordings so they're never erased if you reach your limit. Here's how the DVR works. When you set a recording with Sling TV, you have the option to record new episodes or new episodes and reruns. Then just go to the DVR section and select the program that you want to watch. Bottom line, if you don't watch a lot of live TV and you primarily stream with on-demand services, like I talked about earlier, Sling TV's storage limits, they may not be an issue for you. So let's move on. Number five, stream limits won't affect you. You can use Sling TV on all your devices, so TVs, phones, and computers, as long as you've got a supported device. But you should know about limits to the number of supported devices that can use Sling TV at any given time. For Sling Orange, one stream, Sling Blue, three streams, and Sling Orange and Blue, four streams. Sling Orange is the most restrictive. And with the service, channels that are exclusive to Sling Orange, like ESPN, can only be streamed on one device at a time. And that's even if you pay for the combined orange and blue plan. More likely a problem for larger households, not singles or couples, but something worth considering. Number six today, you've used Sling Freestream and like it. Before you sign up for a paid Sling TV account, I think it's a great idea to download the app and test out Sling Freestream. The free version uses the same interface as the paid version, so if you like the look and feel of Sling Freestream's home screen and live guide, you'll like the user experience 
with a paid account. A few features I want to highlight. Sling TV has added support for individual profiles. From the home screen, there are now video previews of the highlighted programs on the top row of the screen. I'm using a Roku device to demonstrate. You can continue watching your current program while browsing the live guide. You can also favorite channels and set recordings directly from the live guide. An arrow down while watching live TV, that'll give you quick access to recent channels through a mini version of the live guide. And one more thing, when you're testing out Sling Freestream, you won't have access to any of the DVR features. That's only for the paid accounts. We made it to number seven. You only need a live TV service for a month or two. If you are only signing up for a live TV service for a short period of time, Sling TV is definitely worth a closer look. Because as I mentioned throughout this video, it is cheaper than other premium services. Sling TV will often run discounts on the first month of service. That can save you an extra 10 bucks, 20 bucks, sometimes even more. And these offers are in place of a typical free trial. And because of that, if you want a live TV service for just one event only, you'd probably be better off with a free trial from YouTube TV and then just cancel when you're finished. I update streaming deals and more on my website, michaelsavesdeals.com. My name is Michael, and I thank you for watching.